Haha, I thought you were rid of us, didn't you? Well, we're back after, God, so many years. You two have not aged well. Um, We've aged spectacularly, so. Ah, uh, actually all I see in comments is like, you know, so Jason's 15, right? <laughs> <laughs> sure! <laughs> actually, I'm 14. <laughs> So, anywho, this is Ocarina. Um, we're going to do uh, a couple of these. Uh, the next five, I think, yeah. that we got. Yeah, so the next five, they're up. And, uh, yeah, we'll just sort of do that. Like, every uh, couple of weeks, we'll just get together and do a few more and uh, go from there. Uh, this episode, uh, Jake's kids are growing up and they grow up so fast. And uh, a, a little too fast because one wants to take over uh, Jake's house. In fact, he buys it from Marceline for what was that Legal called? Trade. No, 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 the, no the, the base, the ludicrous base. Was that it? Oh Something my God, like that. That's right. It was awesome. Whatever yeah. it, was. it was. a four. I, it was a four necked base. Yeah, like I don't even play guitar, and I'm like, I want that. I really want that. This is just that. absurd because of the the how thick that like oh my God that has. That's absurd. Actually, something I noticed in that scene, did you notice that uh, even though he was in like a flashback, she was still covered up like with the hat and gloves and everything so the sun doesn't burn her? I, I don't that think was it was funny. a flashback. I well, think he teleported her there. Okay, yeah, teleported that, that, her back. Oh, okay, maybe then she was just prepared, like, oh, just in case that happens. Yeah, <laughs> this is possible. <laughs> so, well, whatever reason, I just thought it was funny that she was still prepared for the daylight. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he buys the house and uh, is trying to kind of teach Jake responsibility because <laughs> he's seen him twice in his entire life, and uh, but. Uh, in this time span, this could be, like, under a year for all, you know, yeah. I mean, because they do grow up so quick. Um, and, like, he even has his own wife and kid now, the yeah. son does. <laughs> and, uh, and he tells him, you gotta move out, you gotta get your own job and stuff. But then Jake, uh, he makes a little ocarina that doesn't work, but he made it. <laughs> and, uh, he's giving his fatherly love by saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, over and over, <laughs> which made me pee myself. That's uh, how I went over the love and affection of my daughter. So. <laughs> I just go, I love you, 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 I love you. It's not as funny as when he does it, Damn it. <laughs> Something about the way Jake did it was just magic. Well, he also had a little dance going on. Yes, and that's true. He was nobody, in the suitcase no, of yeah. Nobody should um, watch you dance, ever. And, and the son says, oh, well, I was hoping he'd learn responsibility by getting a job and moving out, but, you know, maybe he's okay, and it ends there, pretty much. Um... So, you know the funny thing? It took me a while to realize what they were doing. It really oh. was not until that ending where I went, Oh, duh, now I see what they're doing. Like, you know, the, the kid that has to grow up, and instead it's the adult who yeah. has to grow up and take the responsibility and everything. Um, I liked it. I The design of the kids and the personalities they gave them pretty quickly and pretty... I don't know. I felt like I could just look at them and, like identify what their characteristics are, what they're like, yeah. and so on. And I really liked that. I thought that was really clever. And we saw a little bit of the one that was, what, whatever, the computer one, the stay-at-home one or whatever. Yeah. Uh, we saw a little bit of him before. Of course, we saw the weird-looking daughter before. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we haven't really seen the other ones, and uh, I, I just love the way they're designed. I love how distinct they are. Um, and, yeah, no, it, it, it was still fun. It was, uh, it was creative. The... Two other little details I thought were kind of clever was, um, I mean, not clever, but there's one part where when they find the gold in the backyard, it's taken away. He shrinks down, he's really tiny mm -hmm. inside the hole, and, and Finn talks to him, and then, you know, he gets an idea. He says, you're right, and it gets big again. I thought to myself, you know, you didn't have to animate that. And that was like a really interesting sort of 360 that they yeah. did talk to him. I was like... I just love that. I just love those little touches where it's like, they don't need to do that, but it's it's something Jake would probably do in that moment. Just like he's feeling small, so he literally goes small. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing I like is when they see where he li uh, where the son lives, yeah. and they find out he's really rich. So rich that even the backgrounds are designed nicer. Like, they're shaded nicer, and there's more, there's like colored line work and stuff. A lot, and of, I, a lot more detail. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I loved that. I, I wouldn't say detail, it more the... I, I say shading, because a lot of the backgrounds are very detailed, but this was definitely shaded, it was cell shaded, and had it played with light and so forth. I, I guess I guess it's more like things were clearer. Yeah, it, it's more Disney-ish. Yeah, yeah, like, because they're walking and there's the fairy, 
and the fairy had some extra Beautiful. lines, and it seemed mm. to be more like detailed in that sense, where everything was a little bit more clear and a little bit more crisp and a lot yeah. more like. And Jake even says it feels like a fairy tale. Yeah, I, I really thought they were gonna do something like with Disney in there, and, and, and maybe they'll do that next time. I don't know. I mean, Disney. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I liked that. I thought it was uh, I thought it was a fun episode. I liked it a lot, actually. I thought it was really cool, um, especially in the end. I love, I love, love, love the idea that you know we. Everybody, whether we want it or not, we have our own idea of what's correct and what's proper and what's the right way to be. And it's funny and it's silly because, look, the kid is older than, 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 the, than the father and blah, blah, blah. But in the end, I love how they left it where he does say, okay, I think he's all right. It's, he's a... Aha! Whose phone is that? You're, you're the phone fail this time! Ha ha! My bad, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and obviously it's an important call because Jay says to take it. Well, here, go go ahead. So spread out, spread out. Whoa, whoa. Is it for me? Okay. So yeah, uh, keep going, uh, Jory. Keep telling me about well, it. Well, while you're... Oh, ah! I mean, <laughs> uh, so, uh, how you doing? She was onto something good there, too. <laughs> uh, it was her boss calling. Oh, what? I'm her boss! No, no. Um, that, no, but actually, <laughs> it, it did remind me of something, something we forgot to address, or I forgot to address, I should say. Uh, I really like kind of the commentary they were doing where Jake's like, let me tell you how this all goes to the beginning oh, yeah. of time. <laughs> and the tough guy's just picking on the little guys. And then when they had everything the way they wanted, that's when they made the laws and it's totally unfair to the little guys. I was kind of like, it's an interesting commentary. Yeah. There. <laughs> and it, it actually kind of makes sense. Because who makes the rules? Whoever is in power. Yeah. And okay. usually who's in power? The strong person. Yeah, the survival of the fittest yeah. and stuff, yeah. So, uh, no, actually, when I sort of saw that, I was like, huh, this is kind of eerily getting close <laughs> to home here, you know, a little bit, for the human race, I suppose. Mm. Um, but, no, I thought that was pretty clever. Even, again, sort of the, uh, the animation style seemed a little different there, like, yeah. just a touch. Um, I kind of like that. There's something about this one where, like, there's definitely a point and a message and stuff, but they still allowed it to sort of go sporadic in certain areas and sort of try new stuff. Yeah. Um, I, I love it when they try, as much as we like to go on about, like, glitches and glitches or something like that, like, I do like it when they try new stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, and even just those subtle ways, like I said, the backgrounds being yeah. more clear uh, as it got closer to the home. I thought that was really smart. Um, I liked uh, one... <laughs> well, I like how they picked up with meat and furniture. Furniture and meat? Is that what it was? Yeah, where they gave away the uh, the money, right? They gave away the money because they're like, we've never had to spend anything yet. And then finally they have to. And now they need to, and it's all gone. And he's like, I got these two old pictures. They're interesting, aren't they? And he just takes it, he's like, yeah. And he puts them away. Like, no, I think it went woof, because I, I always <laughs> love that word when someone just goes woof. <laughs> I love that. Um, I love that. I love how he's like, well, you can stay here on a ladder. And they're actually sleeping, like... <laughs> Finn's gonna sleep on it, and he's just like, yeah, hold on. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm a tough kid. And yeah. <laughs> and Jake just shrinks down to a tiny little bed with himself on it, and then someone steps on both of them. Then they're in, he, Jake goes, or Finn goes to the bathroom, and the little <laughs> goblin guy's in the corner on the phone. Oh my god, he's in my apartment right now. <laughs> I, I love how it's mid call because Finn wasn't in there for very long, yeah. so like, he must have called that a while ago. Like, now he's in here. Now Emmy is like that. Must have been like really, really. Yeah. Quick. Um, I loved that. That was fun, and especially a lot. I liked that there wasn't like a recycling of characters this time around. Like a lot of times, we'll have like some characters kind of show up. Like when people were piling in, I was expecting to kind of see like maybe cinnamon bun or mm -hmm. even tree trunks or something like that. But there was like pretty much no regulars in this episode. Yeah, I mean, even the kids have kind of changed around, yeah. you know, and then gotten older. Uh, and yeah, I kind of like that. There's something, it sounds weird, and it could very well be because we've been away from it for a yeah. while, you know, but there was something that seemed a touch fresher about this episode. Um, it has been a while since we Yeah, watched. I mean, it, that very well could be, because, like, the story-wise, there's nothing really that new except the kids growing older. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there is something to, they just tried, like, even just the little touches, it just seemed a little different, and I, I can't dug it. I, 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 I see, I brought it back, I brought the Doug back. Uh. Doug. 
Diggs the Doug. Um, for so, that, can I just go? Do, 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 do. <laughs> no, we won't end there. Let's we'll you. <laughs> no, because there's a, well, one other thing I want to get your uh, feedback on. Did um, uh, did you feel the ending was a little rushed? Okay, it's obviously rushed, but did that <laughs> distract you at all? Or were you just like, yeah, no, nah, seems about right. What do you mean with? Uh, well, with, with them making amends and stuff. I mean, because... Well, the way I look at it, I guess, for me, is that that's Jake, though. Mm -hmm. And I think his son realizes that that's, at this point in time, the best he's going to get. Yeah, like he's made the effort sort of thing. The effort's there. Yes, it's an ocarina that has really no holes, and it's not hollow. So, I mean... And he realizes, and he's looking at it, and he's like, you know what? It's there. The effort's there. He's trying. There's some connection. And, I mean, I think if they had Jake do, like, a whole 180 or a whole, like, an entire, like, 180, then a 360 and all that stuff, like, it wouldn't be Jake. Hmm. You know, because Jake is kind of a doofus, kind of a weirdo. Like, remember him come flying in for the birthday party and he's like, just gonna say it right now, I forgot to get you gifts, but I brought dinner. A like, little tiny pile of, like, yeah. <laughs> that's so Jake. Would you say that's a little inconsistent with him, like, because he was really obsessed with his kids for a while. You know, that was one episode. Because was by it? the end of the episode, they were already times. grown up and ready to move out. Oh, I guess that's true, yeah. And he was depressed and everything, but, I mean, if you're a parent kind of for a day and a half, you're more a babysitter than a parent. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like being a parent for way too many years, <laughs> you know, so... <laughs> so long that you think you have a watch when clearly you don't. <laughs> I do, right here, see? Um, you can say, like, oh, you know, you're a nanny or that stuff, yada, 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 but in a sense, at the end of the day, you're, the kids you're taking care of go back to their parent or whatever. And Jake was a parent for, like, a couple days. Mm -hmm. And that's all it was. And as he said, I only saw you twice so far, you know, and that kind of says something. That one day and then a little bit later. Yeah. So... So, but, um, and I think the last thing, uh, I can think of to talk about is the, uh, uh, the, the far, the far away shot, the long shot when... Oh, everything's all They're saying quiet. goodbye, and, but because the shot is so far away, you literally can't hear them say goodbye, you can just hear the faintest little thing like that, and I... That was pretty clever. Again, I you, liked you, it. You, you haven't seen a joke like that in Adventure Time before. Yeah. I thought it was, it was really clever, so... Yeah, no, I, I thought that was really funny. Because at first I thought it was an audio problem. Yes, but yeah. and then, but they had the little birds still tweeting. Mm. And I'm like, oh, that's not an audio problem. That's just the way it's <laughs> done. Okay, it. <laughs> I actually like that. <laughs> no, I thought it was pretty funny. You coming back in or are you done? <laughs> really? <laughs> that was the real world. <laughs> stupid real world stupid real world stupid day job <laughs> <laughs> well just pick up with your thought like nothing ever happened I'll edit it back in it'll be amazing just just Yay! edit it over me and my talking that's oh he does anyway yeah, yeah I don't know if you ever watched him but yeah no uh oh I was saying that I loved it because in the end <laughs> in the end no in the end I liked it because it, they did kind of leave it with that, it's okay. Every, we don't all have to be the same. Jake, even though Kim Kil Wan still doesn't technically really approve of his father's lifestyle in a sense, and if he thinks, you know, things could be better, should be better, at least in the end, by him saying, you know, I, I think he's okay, it's kind of an acknowledgement of, all right, there's nothing wrong with him. I don't agree with it, but there's nothing wrong with it. He'll be fine. Um... And I liked it a little bit better because in the beginning, I honestly thought that it was going to be this big whole thing about he's just doing this to be mean to his dad because his dad never loved him sort of a That's thing. That's where I thought they were going too, yeah. And and then Jake did the, love, love, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> you know, and I was expecting this big to-do about it and I really liked that kind of subtle like, okay, you can tell he appreciates that his dad... And maybe he is a stick in the mud because his dad wasn't around that much. You know, or maybe it's Kim Kil-wan's way of rebelling 
because kids typically don't want to be like their parents, so they typically, you have to rebel by doing, you know <laughs> Yeah, that's true, I mean? by being the exact opposite. Yeah, and the interesting <laughs> sort of circle that developed there, yeah, so then he becomes so, more the adult. Right, and, um... I know I liked it. I, I liked it a lot better than where I thought it was originally gonna go, and I and it was it wasn't this big production. It was just a very simple thing, and you kind of sat there, or I kind of sat there and thought about it, and I was like, yeah, I know, I like that. It wasn't, you know, the big speech and the big well, you know, you see, and I liked it a lot. I just wonder if Jake gets his bone back, the gigantic gold bone. Well, I mean, no. No. Hmm. No. I choose to believe not. I just would love to see this episode redone back when they had a full treasure room. Oh, God. So he buys the property and he's like, okay, let me see your tre- Ah, uh, crap. And, that's and they're like, here, take all our money. We want our house back. Because <laughs> <laughs> think about it. some legal ease to get around well, but, you know, think about here. it. If he, they had the old treasure room, they would have been able to buy it back, no question. Like, no, no, they'd easy. probably be greedy they, back then. Because, like, no, we need this treasure because they didn't realize they didn't need it then. Yeah. They're yeah. like, no, you can't have it. It's ours. We found it. We blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Even though they're not, they wouldn't use it for what it's supposed to be yeah. used for. <laughs> so either way, yeah, it probably still wouldn't turn out good for them. But I want a giant gold dog bone. I wonder what they got the bone from. What animal or creature? No, they melted all that gold into a, a bone shape. No, I'm imagining some gigantic monster that has like a big gold golden for bones. T-Rex or something. Oh. Yeah. I don't like where this is going. Why don't you get up and leave? Keep with no. tradition. Fine, I'll get up and leave. I never got up and left before. I'm getting up and leaving. He Goodbye. Leaves, he leaves a lot more often than he claims. I think he's lying. Goodbye. Fine, you leave. Oh you're god! Oh god! Oh god! No, oh, I like this. No, that's not gonna work. Bye.